Angeles. So I just am going to talk about what's on my mind today. And one of the things that is really difficult for me, and I think it's because like I'm so inactive, is that it's really hard for me to just let go of disagreements or arguments. Um, I just, they become so much bigger in my head and I feel like they're never going to be resolved and this is going to happen and this person hates me and it just builds up to all this anxiety and panic attacks and I always want to resolve things like right away and that's just not the case. Like not everybody's going to want to resolve everything right away. But um, I don't really know what to do to cope with that. Um, all I can do is pray and try not to have obsessive thinking, but it's really difficult for me and it's really hard for me to let things go um, because I feel like I'm losing people or something. I don't know. It's just a really unusual thing. Like most people can just kind of like go on with their day and go to work and not think about it, but I don't have work and I don't have all these activities to like get my mind off things and so I like just I start to think about it and obsess about it and um, I have OCD thinking so that just makes it ten times worse and then just makes me scared because I'm like what if I can't handle like being around people or having people close to me because I can't handle like just the simplest disagreements and it makes me really upset, it makes me sad, it makes me cry, and these are just minor things, and um, so I don't know, I just don't know if any of you guys struggle with um, like OCD thinking or even know about it. A lot of people think like OCD is like I have to wash my hands like 50,000 times, but for me it's like all in my brain and it's just something that keeps circulating over and over and over and over and over again and it's just obsessive compulsive disorder and um so I don't I don't really know what to do about it but I try my best and I have my little doggy who's sleep sleeping he always goes to sleep when we make videos yeah so I go on break when my mom makes videos and she bright, brightens my day and um, I just always pray that I can just resolve things and as quickly as possible because I don't like that icky feeling and I don't like to upset people but at the same time I can't let that consume me because then I become codependent again which is just hiding how I really feel and not sticking up for myself and not telling people what's making me anxious and then that builds up to a bunch more anxiety so it's finding that middle ground that is healthy and um, I think I do a good job of it. It's just the aftermath of behaving properly that I have a hard time with. And um, I think it's most hard uh, with people that knew me before when I was codependent um, because that's not the behavior that they're used to. So um, me sticking up for myself and or stating my opinions and what's on my mind and what's hurting me comes off more to them as uh, defensive or aggressive even and it's really not it's just me being just a healthy normal person but when you're not used to that from someone you think like where is this coming from so um, it's really tough and I think that it, that's why it's important to continue recovery and keep mindful of these things and not to go back to unhealthy behaviors and just try your best not to obsess about it and try to keep your mind off things and um, find other things that can fill that space where your mind wants to be obsessive and just wants to cave and say I'm sorry I'm so sorry for everything everything was my fault when that's not healthy especially if you know you did the right thing and you were just standing up for yourself and it wasn't your intention to be aggressive or defensive or hurt people but it was just you speaking your mind and being doing so in a healthy way so um, 
I don't know if any of you guys experience that. I would love to hear your comments and your um, stories and um, if you have any particular people in your life that's hardest with and um, whatnot. So uh, I would love to hear that in the comments down below. Also, I've added a bunch of links um, like Goodreads, uh, Netflix, Hulu, and Audible. And um, I don't know, there's a ton of people on YouTube that are like promoting it and I think they get money out of it or something, but I just have the links to like the regular sites and I don't get anything out of it. I just want you guys to know that. But there are things that I use all the time and it's just another way I can connect with you guys and also um, it's just an activity, um, you know, with Netflix and who you get two weeks to a month free, so that's awesome. And if you like it, it's not very expensive each month. And Audible is completely free. And you get, I think you get a month free or you get a free book when you sign up. Um, so that's awesome, especially those with headaches and migraines that can't read and look at a book or a Kindle or anything like that. Um, and then Goodreads is just really cool because you can look at each other's bookshelves and see what they like and you can see what I like and what I read and whatnot. Most of the zombie books, but um, I've read a bunch of everything. So my book, my my dog is just freaking loving this right now, <laughs> as you can probably see. But I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day, and we're sending out X double O's. I don't know if she can do O's, double O's. And as always, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.